Hi, welcome to ShowMeTheCurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we are getting ready for Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Even though the Cowboys didn't make it. <laughs> anyway, um, we've had a lot of requests for, you know, game food, and uh, we thought we'd show you how to make vegetarian chili. So the base of our vegetarian chili is of course beans and we're using three different types of beans here today. We have some black beans, we have some kidney beans and we have some pinto beans. If you can find some of these it's okay you can you know use something you can substitute any of them. Uh, you can either use just one bean or you can you know replace it with either garbanzo beans or with black eyed peas or basically you're looking for little uh, bigger beans so anything is okay. Right. So all of these beans, last night we had washed it and soaked it overnight and today we rinsed them out and we've drained them now. So they're nice and dry. We'll go ahead and add these to our pressure cooker. So this is about uh, two thirds cup of uh, beans each. So it's total of you know, two cups and that's how, how much it was dry. So of course now they have increased in size once they have soaked overnight. And to this we're going to add four cups of water salt to taste. Now give it a mix and we're going to close the pressure cooker and put it on a high. So now we, what we're going to do is we're going to allow it to uh, whistle about three to four times and then reduce the uh, heat to a simmer and allow them to cook for about 30 minutes. Take a look. Oh, perfect. So our beans cooked for four minutes and we simmered them for 30 minutes and the pressure has gone down all by itself. Okay, over here we have a big pot and you want a big enough one where you can add in all these things and you have space to mix. And we've got two tablespoons of oil already hot in there. You're going to add in one bay leaf, one inch piece of cinnamon stick. And we have some whole cloves here. We're going to roughly crush these down so nobody gets to bite into one of these lovely <laughs> and strong cloves. So we'll add in the clove powder and one large onion. We have eight large cloves of garlic minced, one heaped tablespoon of ginger minced, and some jalapenos to taste. Mix. You're going to add a little bit of salt just so that the onions cook a little faster. And what we're going to do is we're going to allow the onions to get a little translucent and then go on to the next step. So the onions are done. They cook for about two or three minutes and they're translucent. And now it's ready for our veggies. We don't call this vegetarian chili for no reason. <laughs> so we're going to load it up with a lot of veggies. We have one zucchini chopped, one celery stalk chopped, one bell pepper. There's one carrot. And one cup of corn. And we're going to mix. Just going to make sure that the oil coats all the vegetables. Now this is our choice of veggies, but you can use any vegetable you like. Um, if you like mushrooms, you can add those in. If you like cauliflower, you can add that in. So, just go all crazy with it. <laughs> Yummy. So over here we have soy nuggets and we've cooked it as per the package uh, instructions and we're just going to squeeze out the water and add it. Now these uh, soy nuggets, if you've never seen them before, they come in a little box like this and um, they're pretty simple to make. The directions, you just uh, boil them in water with a little bit of salt in it and let it cook for about five minutes, then let them sit in the water for about ten minutes afterwards. Squeeze out the water and you're ready to use. And uh, one more thing to mention is they come in a couple of different varieties as far as the size goes. We're using the I think mini chunks. We're using mini chunks, but they also come in granules and they also come in larger chunks. But I think this is a good size for our chili. And it's very high in protein. Mm -hmm. So it gives a very good texture as well. Right. And we're just going to mix it and let it cook for about a minute or so. 
So next go our pureed tomatoes. We have about two large tomatoes, which we've pureed. If you don't have uh, fresh tomatoes on hand, you can easily just put in a can of pureed tomatoes, or fresh tomatoes. And then we also have one can of stewed tomatoes. Now these stewed tomatoes are really nice for a chili like this because they're going to hold their shape. Even though you cook it and cook it, the tomatoes tend to hold the shape. So it's good for this kind of application. Wow. So these stewed tomatoes give an extra wonderful color. And plus the tomatoes will not wilt. They won't just, you know, mush up. They'll hold their shape a little better. So when you put it in here, it's not like gone into oblivion. Um, <laughs> also, we've used um, this, uh, this two tomatoes comes in actually three varieties, the regular, there's Italian, and then there is Mexican. And we have used, chosen to use the Mexican because it has a little bit of cumin, a little bit of garlic, and of course the tomatoes, so great. But if you can't find it, you can use the regular and you know, just adjust your seasoning accordingly. So to this, we're gonna add in the beans that we have cooked along with the water that they've been cooking in. And start mixing. We also have about 10 sprigs of chopped cilantro. And this is gonna flavor the whole chili as it cooks. We also increase the temperature of the flame a little bit so that it's a little faster. Look at it. Beautiful. Yeah, it is going to be a full meal and a very nutritious oh, one. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another important flavor that we're adding. This is going to be half teaspoon of cumin powder. And here's an optional but very yummy spice. It's garam masala, of course, and we're putting in about half teaspoon. We have to Indianize it some way, right? <laughs> right. But again, it's too taste, really, uh. if you... If your chilies are very spicy, if your jalapenos are very, very spicy, you might want to hold back a little bit. This is really looking so delicious. So as this cooks down, the key to chili, of course, is that you cook it for quite a while and, mm -hmm. and it uh, kind of melts all those flavors together and tastes delicious. But as it's cooking, it's also going to lose a lot of the moisture. So we have some vegetable broth here. Uh, we have some homemade one, but you can get it from the store, ready-made. And we're going to keep adding as we need it and uh, just see what kind of texture that we want. So that's about one cup that we're adding right now. Also you might want to check on the salt and uh, because you've added a lot of other things so just to make sure it's all the thing and then we'll, what we'll do is we'll cover it and just let it cook till the veggies are done. So our chili has been cooking for 30 minutes. Look at it, it looks really really good. And uh, so since this has got a lot of beans and starch and all, so it's just going to solidify a little bit. So, but I think we're going to keep the consistency as is. So this way we can have it with chapatis or with rice or just as a regular chili. So a really great way to enjoy this vegetarian chili is to make a frito pie. And all you do is get yourself a bag of frito corn chips and you can layer them in the bottom of your bowl and pour the chili over top and then garnish it with some cheese or salsa or onions, cilantro, maybe a dash of lime juice. Ooh. Ugh, yum. <laughs> yeah, it's an entire meal all by itself. Yeah, because you've got the, you've got the crunch and then the hot and the cheesy gooey stuff. Excellent, excellent. And the, the other thing we wanted to do is was really, really thank Suvarna from the bottom of our hearts for this particular recipe because I think we called her a gazillion times. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for your patience and thank you so much for the, sharing this recipe with us. So I'm making myself a frito pie. <laughs> I love these. So here's our corn chips. I'm going to crush it. Put mm. it there. Put some chili on top. Cheese. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> Ready to enjoy. And the verdict is mm. heavenly. <laughs> it's so, so good. Mm. 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 It's perfect. Awesome. I'm ready to <laughs> dig into mine. <laughs> so join us again in another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.